I fear retaliation from Dr. May as a principal. Staff members afraid to show their faces, but they don't have to. That's because Team 10 investigator Allison Ash has the documents that detail accusations of sexual harassment and bullying at a San Diego high school. Sources complain the district is doing nothing to stop it. Vincent Mays knows how to bust a move, and students at Sarah High seem to enjoy watching him do it in this video posted on the school's Facebook page last year. But these documents obtained by Team 10 through a public records request reveal Mays is accused of making other, less welcome moves in his first year at Sarah. He really has created a hostile work environment by trying to intimidate people, bully people, harass people, and that, that's not, this is not right. Although our public records request specifically named Mays, the district redacted his name in this confidential investigative report. In it, the staffers who were interviewed claimed Mays publicly humiliated them in front of others and made inappropriate sexual comments and comparisons. There are numerous females on campus who will not meet alone with him or, or don't even go to the uh, main office, the administration building because of him. One allegation states that Mays told a work group a woman was Puerto Rican by injection after she disclosed her husband is Puerto Rican. In another claim, the term black bull was used in a manner related to sexual activity. And there are a series of unwelcome sexual advances toward a woman who went to dinner with Mays twice, saying she felt she was required to attend because he was her supervisor and she had not yet received her evaluation. That was the only allegation the district said was subject to a recommendation for disciplinary action. Any male teacher first year in the district, they'd be gone, they'd be terminated. But most likely would have their credential taken away from them and then they'd be able to teach in the state of California again. That teacher was surprised when Mays reported back to school for a second year. Sexual harassment will not be tolerated in San Diego Unified School District. Uh, and we especially need to make sure that we're doing everything we can uh, to address this concern at Sarah High School. School board member Kevin Beiser, who himself is a teacher, met with teachers at Sarah, where morale is so low that union members actually cast a vote of no confidence in May's ability to lead. A vote of no confidence of a principal with that kind of a majority is definitely something uh, that gets my attention and the attention of Superintendent Cindy Martin. I want you to make some noise! This moonwalk video shows Mays can rally the students. A San Diego Unified spokesperson told us Dr. Mays acknowledges there is room for improvement in how he relates to his staff. Mays, she said, has one priority, improving outcomes for all students at Sarah. Give it up for Dr. Mays, y'all. I tried reaching out to Mays several times, but he didn't respond. Staffers tell me just this week, a retired principal reappeared on campus to mentor Mays, who's been ordered to work on his behavior and also to attend mediation to repair his work relationships. Of course, the documents are all online, and so is the complete response that we got from a district spokesperson. And we saw in your story at rallies, at dances, how is this affecting the students? Well, the teachers tell me it is affecting the students because they can sense the tension that's going on on campus. They also say there are some scheduling issues. Dr. Mays changed the schedule, trying to streamline it, but there are still some kids whose classes are not resolved five weeks into the school year. And if the morale is down with the teachers, it has to be down in the classrooms as well. All right, thank you, Alice.